Hey YouTube, uh, this is your girl Simply Love, and um, I've been meditating here for about a couple hours, and I've been pawning and mauling over some things that been uh, Spirit's been talking to me about, but the spirit of this Kim Porter situation that a lot of people are talking about. And that's, I just been to my, I usually don't, I don't usually do things like this only when I'm feeling strongly, a strong spirit coming from that person who passed, just as I did Prince, just as I did XXX, Tentacion. And I'm feeling the same way about this Kim Porter situation. It's like she's been nudging at me, nudging at me. Yes, I've been watching a few videos and, um, because I wanted to see if anything was going to be pulled out that I that she has been nudging on me about. And so far, I've only seen one. And I'm going to put that in the description because that one that, that she did lead me to was right on the money of what she was telling me about the situation of what happened to her, what really happened to her. So I went into, I said, well, do you want me to do a reading on you or do you just want this to be between me and you or, you know, the confirmation that I just got from someone that I watched, not many subscribers, not many looks, but I'm going to put her link in my community center, center because I think this woman has a, um, a mediumship ability for real. I mean, truly, because I felt her spirit as she was reading. She doesn't have a lot of subscribers, doesn't. And that really doesn't even matter. People need to hear the truth and not all this fake stuff and making up stuff. And, you know, because spirit is real. And this is nothing to be playing around with when it comes to people who's crossed over. I think I mentioned this a few times. That's why I don't do it as much as I, uh, I, I I would like to do it as much because I keep there's different people that crossed over that keeps bugging and nudging at me with this stuff. And I really don't like to do it. But when I do do it, I want to be extra, extra sure if that's what they want me to do. And not play around with the energies as though, you know, trying to be on the map or, you know, getting people to watch things just for views and all this kind of stuff. I don't want it to be like that with me. I just don't. But when a spirit pulls on my heart. Right from the jump street, when I feel something, I, you know, this spirit never leaves me alone until I do. So I'm doing it right now. I did all my meditations. I talked to this person. I listened to this person. So I'm just sitting here and I just jumped up and got the cards that they wanted me to get. I was like, which ones you want me to get? They picked these out. The, the question cards, the answer cards. And then I jumped up and, and got some regular cards, I guess, to verify. I don't know. However, they want me to do this. I, it, I can hear her so clear. I heard her so clear. I heard her clear soon after I heard about her death. I heard it clearly. And then I seen a couple of videos of people that were talking about it and none of it, so, you know, and I'm not saying that they're not correct, but it seemed like it was like just saying things just to be saying it, not truly connected. Actually, there was two people. There were two people. There were two people. I'm sorry about that. There was two people that hit it on the nose. And they're very spiritual. And like I said, I'm going to leave their link because I don't know if they want me to, you know, say anything. I don't know. But I'm going to leave their uh, um, their link or their names or their channels in, in uh, below in the description. So you can go see for yourself for those who might be curious. So um, let me get this done. What ha what, you know. And this, she led me, for some reason, I'm going to tell you, I had another um, video, I mean, another, uh, I'm so sorry, because this just got me so shooken up a little bit. I could feel the energy so, so well. And it's not a bad energy or any like th thing like that, but she got a lot to say. She got a lot to say. 
Okay? She really does. Because it wasn't, I'm going to tell you guys, it wasn't time. It, it wasn't. I don't see anything in here about her being sick with anything. If it was, if it was any kind of sickness, it was, it was, it was uh, premeditated. This whole thing she told me was premeditated because she can see that. And I actually had to tell her to go to the light so she could see for herself because she's afraid. She's scared. She, she, she loves her children so much and she knows how Hollywood situation goes down because I heard her say she'd been there and done that. She's not afraid to say that. She's been there and done that. She knows the game. She know how it's, how it's played. She did want me to say that. She knows the game. She's been in the game. She knows how it's played. She knows what to do. But she came out of that game. She just wanted to be free to be herself. She got tired of playing the game. She got tired of not being herself. That's what I'm hearing her say. So that's why she's she's she knows she's gone now, but it was not her turn. She's still trying to understand and process things. And as I close my eyes and listen to these words she was saying, there was a little light shining there. And, you know, just a, I seen a light and I just told her, I said, you know what? Go to the light because of what I'm seeing here. When I seen this come out, I told her, you know, as we were talking, I said, you know, go to that light. Because there's people there that's going to, you know, they're going to help you. And they're going to let you know that everything is going to be okay. With your children, everything is going to be okay. But she has to go to the light in order to see it. She just can't dr stay drifted. So as soon as I told her to go to that light, that it was, I mean, a it was just like a little twinkle. Like a little twinkle light that I saw with my eyes closed as she was talking to me. And soon as I said that, that twinkle went away. It just disappeared. And I'm closing my, I have my eyes closed right now. And I, I still don't see that twinkle. So she must have went to that light. I said, there's people there that's going to help you. You're going to see everything. There's no need to worry about your children or anything. Don't worry. These are angels here. They're ready. You know, I told her and I, and I showed her. But this was an easy layout for keep for me because as I was shuffling, she was talking. These cards were just popping out, just popping out, you know, with, with le little effort of shuffling. Y'all, please believe what I'm about to tell you because I've heard I heard every word she said through these cards that popped out. I heard her. I heard her. I heard her. I heard her when it first happened. I heard her, but I was like, oh, I don't get in. You know, I try my best to stay away from it, but there's this uh, this force that won't let me shut up. You know, there's this force that's like, you know, even before doing readings and stuff that would not let me shut up. It's like a force. It's like an energy. A uh, big energy. If you can notice on a lot of these cards, there's purple in it. Energy, you know, purple energy is about royalty. Okay. I can no longer deny a lot of things that I have been denying for so long. Because I was just so afraid that people, you know, there's so many judgmental people, but I can't be, I can't worry about, that's what I heard. I can't worry about them. I can't, I can no longer worry about what people got to say or anything. This is all spiritual. You know, the veil, the veil is thin. Everything is going to be revealed. Everything, even for those who don't believe, you're going to end up, but you're going to believe the people that you think that are crazy. You're going to be saying, I wish I never, I wish I never told, I wish I never said that they were crazy. And the reason why a lot of people don't believe is because of some type of condition that they want to be, uh, st that they want to stay in. They're in denial. 
of, of, of these type of things, of these type of energies or afraid of them. Because maybe the, the energies or the uh, energies that's surrounding you or within you is not balanced yet. But oh well, whether they are or aren't, the veil is getting is, is getting ready to be released. And you're going to see a lot of these people that you call crazy or think is crazy. You're going to see that they're not. And you're going to wish that you had to listen so you could be prepared for what's to come. I keep telling y'all, just like the last video I, I made here. There's something happening and it's a great thing. It's a great thing, but you're just going to have to be prepared for it. You're going to have to be prepared for it spiritually, not, not religious, not religiously, but spiritually. So let me just get on with what I've heard her say, and then I'm going to just let it go and let it take a life of its own and let it talk to those who know and feel this type of spirit too. So here we go. Miss Kim Porter. Been talking to me ever since this thing happened. And I think. Oh and I did one on Kanika too. She came to me too telling me stuff. And I did one on her. It's not like I do these things all the time. There's people that does this stuff every single day. But I only listen to the spirit. Of a spirit that I can actually really hear. And then I'll pull cards on them. And then I'll put it out there. Other than that, this is no normal routine for me to do. Maybe it will be. Maybe it, it, it's supposed to. I don't know. I don't know. I have to take it day for day. I really do. Because these spirits are, are calling on me. I mean unusual spirits there's another spirit that keeps talking to me as well and that is and I, and this person was before my time this person was way before my time and I may do a reading on him he was a rebel as well rebel spirits talk to me you know people who don't who go uh, goes against the system people who won't shut up it's, uh, people who 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 don't fear the truth they're the ones that talk to me always color doesn't have anything to do with it nothing like that because this next person that's been nudging me and and and, and um telling me things you just wouldn't believe who it would be and when i decide to do their video you, then you'll know but each and every one of these people that I've done a video for are rebels. They're people that are not afraid of the truth. And they know I'm not afraid of the truth. So maybe that's why they talk to me and a few others. Some other pe some others, I, I, I got much to say about that. I just let that go. But the true ones, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you right now. They're not the ones that's out there trying to just do things just to get money and doing it over and over and over again. You cannot connect with that many spirits like that and, and, and just be okay. All right, so here we go. This is the first card that popped up. Not the right time. And I, I was like, Kim, I know it wasn't your time yet. I, I know that. You've been telling me. You've been telling me. And I was waiting for this to pop out. And it was the first one that came out. It was not the right time. That's what she's saying. It wasn't the right time for her death. It wasn't her time to go. It wasn't It wasn't natural. It was not her time. I'm telling you guys. Was it Prince's time? It wasn't XXX Tentacion's time? It's a time for every one of us, but these are what you call ritualistic. They're planned out. Their deaths are planned. So this, this is, this is not, this is like some deep stuff here. This is some stuff that, you know, that is wicked and evil that people do in order to stay on top. This is what they do. This is what Kim told me. She knows about it. She's trying to tell you guys she knows all about this stuff. 
and how it works. But she didn't think that that she never thought that that would, would they would someone would betray her. She didn't think that. And then the abundance card fell, but it fell in reverse. She was like, everything I was planning on doing, everything that I was, you know, uh, having to do. She said, it's, it's, it's gone. Because it was going to bring some type of abundance to her to be more, um, more independent, more able and stable to take care of her children advance her children to another level of spirituality have her children to be comfortable her number one thing was her kids them children was her number one thing and that's why she was coming out and then she wanted to be truthful she wanted to come clean with a lot of stuff even though she was involved in it and never said nothing at that time but she was willing to sacrifice to do it but see, what Kim was telling me as well is that she, 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 she was, she was telling somebody, I don't know if it was a family member or a friend or something, somebody that she really trusted. She let them know about her little dreams and what she was planning on doing because she was feeling so good about it. And she really trusted this person. Whoever this person was, was close by her or around her a lot. And, and, and don't be fooled that family can't do this shit to you. Don't, don't be fooled. Okay. Don't, don't get it twisted because they can, but somebody she was around that she was telling things to. She wasn't telling it to everybody. But she was telling some things to somebody. What she was about to uh, do. Her plans. How she wanted to be more independent. She was coming out of some kind of uh, spell. Like somebody had her under a spell. Or felt like they had some type of control over her. She wanted to like end that for, for good. Because she was losing herself. She felt like she was losing herself. Being under this control mechanism. But she was about to break all that. Break free. By telling the truth about everything. Even if it, it, even if it cost her her reputation. She didn't care. She just wanted to be, a, be free. Of it all. The whole thing. And then start her life all over again. She wasn't trying to hurt anybody. But she just wanted to be free of it. You know, and, and, and I feel like when this popped out, I was like, well, reconsider, reconsider what? Well, I feel like with it, she was saying something like somebody was trying to convince her not to do what she was going to do or not to do these things. What she wanted to do. They was trying to convince her not to do it. Or not to talk. Because that's, you know, you see that woman carrying a sword and see how she's enlightened her third eye. Open. Her third eye was open. She had an epiphany. But somebody was trying to tell her to put her sword down, like, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do this or something like that. And I already told you about the helpful people. See all them angels and she's sitting right there. Look, there's a baby in that person's hands. And there's right there, there's a sword right there too. Some truth was getting ready to go down. There was some truth. And see this person here with a book. There was a lot of things going on. See that person there with a book. There was somebody that was doing. She was doing some type. Something with a book. And I think. I think a lot of people know this. But they're trying to like. Not say much about it. Because I've heard. About somebody breaking in her home. And taking her laptops. Like the same day she died. And they must have got this information about what she was going to do. 
but somebody let this other person know whoever came into her home. They let they told them and they ran they went in there and they got her stuff and they destroyed it. How come nobody's talking about you know that part? How come nobody's saying anything about this break in and you know what what did they take? What is it that they took? Well, they said it was lap uh, uh, two laptops. Well, well, what's 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 going on with that? Nobody's trying to investigate why did they break in there to take these laptops? It has something to do with what she was writing down. She was doing some kind of journaling or something like that. And whatever it was, it was something about the truth. Because you see these angels are holding the swords of truth. It, you know, it was going to be, uh, it was going to wake a lot of people up. You see that trumpet right there? That trumpet is like, you know, judgment. It was going to cause some harsh judgment upon somebody once if this was revealed. The truth, she was ready to reveal the truth, no matter what. Has something to do with a baby, too, because they're sitting there holding a baby. A child, children, because these are children here. There's some children here. This person's dressed in red. And green. Y'all can look that stuff up. You know what all that that type of stuff. You know what it means. But you know she's definitely. Definitely. Had helpful people. Has helpful people around her. Whatever this is she started. It's going to come out. Because of this here. Look they're letting her know. But she had to go to that light. So she can be. I had to tell her to go to the light. So she can actually see what these these angels and everything were going to like talk to her and let her know that everything's going to be all right with her children her children her whatever her what she was doing with some writing something or whatever she was doing with this that looks like a book which they were talking about a book i for journalism something like that and that's these swords is about the truth you know they all got all this stuff where she's going at and they're going to sound it off they're going to somebody they're going to really it's going to really touch their heart whoever told on her about what she was doing it's going to be known to the world anyway that's why i had to tell her to go to the light because these people are going to help her still bring on what she wanted to happen what she was planning on doing So, if anybody's out there listening and know about this, and, and or if you're, you know, you're a part of this, it's going to be told anyway. So, what you did was in vain. What you did, whoever did, did this or told on her or whatever, you might be the one that had to come forth and then your life is going to have to be, you be sacrificed as well. R know that. I think whoever it is, you know this. You already know because you didn't, you, 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 you did something that caused an untimely death for somebody. And they have, you know, they had a uh, high hopes and you, you know, whoever it was out there really, you know, shattered that abundance for this person, for, for Kim. She, she says, call her Kimberly. <laughs> okay, Kimberly. <laughs> Whatever happened here, when it was told to whoever this person was that found out about it, um, there was some back and forth about the situation because the compromise card came back and forth and she was telling me that she refused. This person didn't want her to go through with whatever she was going to do. And she refused to compromise with them. She wasn't going to compromise. She was like, no, I'm doing this. I already started this. That's it. And I heard her say something about how you know what I'm, I'm doing. Like that. How do you know what I'm doing? 
how you know my plans. That's when she had a clue somebody betrayed her that she talked to about it. It may have been one or two people, two, I don't know why I'm picking up two, possibly. Could have been a family member and another could have just been a friend, a long friend. And I'm, I don't know why I'm picking up something, somebody from afar, from a distance. Yeah. She refused to com compromise, compromise with somebody that confronted her regarding this situation. That's why it's in reverse. She refused to compromise. She was she had her mind made up. There was a back and forth. I'm telling you, or it could have been an argument or just a disagreement about what she wanted to do with her life. It was like she was tired of people trying to tell her what to do or being under control of someone or some things or some people. But you see that sword there? She's determined like, I'm, you know, I'm reconsider what? No, compromise what? The truth? Because that person has the, the sword of truth in their hands. And they got the third eye. They know. Something. She wasn't going to re. Somebody wanted her to reconsider something or think about not doing what she was going to do. And that's when this card popped up too. You know, she was like, "That's when she." I seen that light bulb when she was when when this card popped out. I seen. I closed my eyes and I. That's when I seen that lit. It was like a little teeny, beady little flashing light, like a star. It almost. It, it looks like it looked like a star to me, and I told her to go to it. I said, "That's when you're gonna discover that everything's gonna be okay. You don't need to be in limbo." Not saying she wasn't okay. But she just, it just, this, this just was, she knew it wasn't that, it wasn't her time. It wasn't the right time for her. Everybody got a certain time to go, but this was, she was, this was something that was, um, uh, uh, con con construed, would you mean, you know, like planned? And she got, she told me something about like, you really don't know, but. Like, I've been gone for a while. Like, the day and the time or whatever you heard about this information, she was telling me that she was gone before then. She was gone before then. And and it made sense when she said that because you know you know spirit speaks in you know in 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 and um in blocks and stuff like that. But you, you know, you, she knows who to go to, who has intuition to read between the lines. So when she said that, I went back to thinking about why did they say she was twenty seven? Why they said she was twenty seven? Now that she told me that she told me she was gone before they released that stuff out, and you know that she died on this day and that day. That's why I kept saying. 27 instead of her real age of 26 because they actually see they planned all this stuff out ahead of time because she wouldn't reconsider after somebody came and talked to her about something she was like no I, I want I'm going to do it whatever it is that she was going to do and somebody else didn't want her to do it so they started planning stuff out they planned it all out and she was out and and you know she told me she was gone way before what they presented to you in the news that's why you can't believe every you can't believe everything the news is big liars you know these elites these 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 high paid people that own just about everything there is they got a, they, they got puppets that has to tell them what to do or they don't get paid they won't get paid, so they got to go along with the propaganda. So that led me to say why. No wonder it said 27 on there because they already had this stuff printed out. They wasn't going to retract all that because that's a lot of money to if they retracted all that and just put a different her, her right age down there. So they just left it as is and say, let's see how stupid people going to be. They, they think people stupid anyway. 
They really do because, and, and there is a lot of stupid people out here that believe anything you tell them. Instead of doing their own or using their own intuition, because we all had that. If you look at that video I made just not too long ago, the last video I made. We are everything. We are all things. And yes, you're going to hear something, but you have to put a certain amount of your own common sense. That's your intuition into it. So they wasn't going to retract it. They felt like, you know, they can get by with that. And they did it. They kind of did it with people. But people, there's a lot there are wondering why is it saying 27 when she was 26? Because they printed all this stuff out before they let it out. And they planned on doing it when she turned 27. They planned on doing it when she re reached the age of 27. That's what they planned on doing. But it happened faster because because they figured they could talk her out of it, but they couldn't. So they had to rush the process. Okay? Does that make sense to some of y'all? They had to rush the proce process. You're going to know because you better look for a sign from I'm telling, like I said, in my, if y'all look at that video, the last video I made on my channel. Look for a sign. Look for the sign. That was one of the signs that she was trying, you know, trying. That's one of the signs that spirit's trying to give everybody. Look, why they got 27? No darn well, she 26. You don't put, tw you don't put, you don't change nobody's age. You don't get nobody's age mixed up. They know how old she was. Because it, it, it she was gone before that time. That She was gone before they said she was gone. She was gone already. It, it, I'm hearing some kind of uh, uh, vegetable state, but they know she was gone. They know there wasn't no coming back. They was going to finish her off, but they didn't expect for it to be sooner. See, see, that's how they fuck up. You know, their little, their, their little, their, their little mess ups comes up and you just have to look for the signs of it. You can't believe everything you hear is what she's saying. And you have to look for the signs. And that was a big ass sign for everybody to know that this was pre-planned. Don't nobody mess. And they wasn't going to retract all that shit because they had it all written up in the papers and everything. When this, they was going to drop it out in the paper and all that kind of stuff. Check the dates. Check the signs. Look for more signs. Because they're right there, the light, they're holding it right there in front of you so you can see it. There's nothing hidden. It's just some people refuse to see it. And they want to believe what everybody else is saying instead of going on along with their intuition and seeing through the signs. Romance. Read the signs. And romance is here because it was a lover. It was somebody she loved or once loved. Because I'm going to show you another way too that she showed me to read these as well. But it was a lover. Somebody she had, you know, a romantic relationship with. Possibly kids with. Because look, there's two girl women there and they're twins. Read between the lines, y'all. Look for the signs, y'all. There's the two twins right there. Okay? And these two twins are something. They're holding that. You know that medical staff thing that they have for medical? Um, See that? It's like energy going through that. There's the quarter moon. These two twin girls, these twins, I feel like that's somebody she had two, you know, twins by. Looks like they're in the in the womb. This reminds me of a womb. A womb. And there's the light right there telling you it's through some type of romantic partner. And this fell out. There's going to be a peaceful resolution. It's going to be peace come out of here. Um, her, her twins are going to be fine. The girls are going to be fine. It's 
See that rainbow they're holding? The, the rainbow is what? Promises. So there's going to be a p peaceful resolution when it, when the whole thing comes out. It's going to bring on peace. Cities to cities. I, I'm, I'm looking at... Let me do this right. I'm looking at... I'm looking at these as being like little cities or something like that. Like a, like a bunch of cities. Here's the light shining here. The brightness, the light, the truth shining through. There's the rainbow right here. There's going to be peace. Look, somebody's heart being set free. Things It's going to set a lot of people free. The truth will set you free. And it's going to cause, it's going to be peaceful. It's going to be a peaceful resolution. You're going to see it. Keep your eyes open, y'all. Because, you know, see again, there's another rainbow in here. Look at that. Promises. You best believe. Y'all best believe another. Look, opening of the uh, heart, the heart, spirit. The most high who's on, you know, going to set this thing on fire, like really like open up everything because there's no need. There's no need to worry. You see that? I hope this comes in clear. There ain't no need to worry because this thing is going to, it's going to be a peaceful resolution when it's all said and done. Ask your angels. If y'all don't believe, you need to start believing in angels and your ancestryhood and spirit. You need to ask that it, this is the truth of what she's saying. You don't believe them? Ask, the, ask your own angels. Ask them yourself. And they're going to show it to you. Look, they say, ask and you shall be shown. And there it is, the revelation. Showing it. Showing it. Keep telling you we're in a spiritual war pat a, a spiritual war here. Ain't nothing to be afraid of if you if you know the real deal, but it is gonna be scary if you don't know. Recovery. Her herself didn't recover from this. Because it is in the reverse. That's how it fell out. So she didn't recover from whatever it is that was um, done to her. She did not recover from that. We all know that. But trust and believe. The truth is going to come out, y'all. Like I said, if y'all go back and read that video, see that video that I done, the last one is on, on, on my channel. You'll understand this stuff right here. What I'm saying, trust and believe. Just because she didn't make it and she was taken out of here before her time. You better believe. She got people working on her behalf and whatever she started, it will come back. It will come out. It, her death wasn't in vain because they shouldn't have took her, her life beforehand. And it was from a lover that she had two twins by. There was some bickering, something going on back and forth. And she refused to compromise with this person. This person's got like a lot of, uh, or, or think they some kind of godly type person. Like everybody got to do what they say do. Or else the sword comes down. Okay. I hope that makes sense. I ain't naming no names. You don't need to name names when a uh, spirit is involved. You, you should know intuitively. You should know intuitively. You best believe there's peace coming out of this. It is. It is. She's still connected to her twins. She she might be talking to them intuitively. 
you know, or coming to them in their dreams to help them to see, see, we got some, uh, <laughs> um, angel seeds out here. These, some of these little kids that's coming up here now, they know, they know a lot. They can hear a lot. They know they're connected with spirit. And I feel like she's going to spiritually lead them to where they need to go to safety. So there's no need to worry about that. Mm-mm. Because for sure, for sure, whatever she started. Ask your angels. They'll tell you. She said, ask your angels. They're going to tell you. You know, you got to believe. Even though she didn't recover from this situation, it's still going to come out. So ain't no need to worry. It's coming out. Whatever it is she started is coming out. Trust and believe. It's going to come out, y'all. It's going to come out. She told me this loud and clear about her death. Y'all think she died on that, whatever they told you? No, she was gone before then. She was gone way before then. <clears throat> That's what this was all about. Wasn't the right time. It wasn't the right time. It was pre-planned out. But something happened to where it, 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 it ended earlier than what they thought it was. Because they had it planned out for her being 27 years old to be gone instead of 26. But they wasn't going to read, like I said, they was not going to, it would have cost them too much to go through that whole story. And j just for a number, it, it would have cost them too much to retract that. So they just took a chance and went on and just put it out there. And it, well, she's, well, it, she's going to be close to that age anyway. So that, that, that ain't going to, that ain't going to do nothing, but you better get a clue. Yes, it is. That was the main thing. That was the main thing. You know, she refused to compromise with somebody who thought they was just like Lord and Savior and God and had the right to uh, dictate her what she wanted to do and how she wanted to do it. She refused to compromise. She probably in the past used to compromise with this person, kept her mouth shut a lot, a whole lot. And this broke this person's ego. For her to refuse something that she never refused from before. You get it? You dig? But you best believe, Lord have mercy. I'm telling y'all, you can come back to this video maybe a year or something from now. That this, whatever she started, the angels are going to make sure that it comes out. Her spirit guides everything. It's going to come out. It's, 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 it's inevitable. So you got to look for them signs. Look for the signs. Use your intuition on this situation. Because uh, somebody think they got away with something and they didn't. They think they did. But they didn't. They really messed up on this one. Just like they think they got away with Prince's murder, but they didn't. All that's going to come out too. The, the, you know, they're, they're up there like <laughs> telling you these angel guides, uh, spirit guides and the ancestors are, 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 they got something cooked up for these people. Like they going to be the ones surprised because they think they, they, they've been getting away with this stuff for too long. And you know, all it is, is they're setting herself up for destruction. Like I said, in a video that I've done, I'm not going to even go f no further than this. But she talked to me and told me everything I needed to know and pulled the cards that I needed to know. I need to look at this one. Just wait and see. Yup. Y'all just wait and see. Just wait. You see that sword of truth up there? Just wait. Just wait. Trust and believe that this was not done in vain. Whatever was started is going to be finished. Nobody is could put a stop to it. Yeah, they put a stop to her life. That was untimely. You know, and, and it definitely messed up her abundance. And, you know, stopped her, you know, from seeing her children grow and everything. All because of some high, high, somebody who think they in control of everything and everybody. 
But trust and believe. Look at that sword of victory. You just wait and see. You just wait and see. That sword is up now. It's, it's they all in purple too. Ro royalty. Justice is going to prevail. Tr the truth is going to come out. And what she said to me, I ain't taking credit for it. I'm saying exactly the words she told me. So it's going to be her truth, not mine. But she used me to tell it. And a few others. Not all. Just a few. Just a few. I did not just say this. Listen to your intuition. I just said it. I don't know what made me reach on you. I can't. My, my eyes are so damn bad. I mean, and it's kind of dark in here now because, you know, we've had some snowy days and stuff like that. And it's a little dark. I just said, listen to your intuition, you guys. And you know what? Just wait and see what happens. Wait and see. All you got to do is listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut feeling. Well, I got to go, you guys. I got a reading to do. And if uh, if I come up with anything else, I'll let you know. But this is it, okay? Take care, you guys. I love you. Bye.